I know you don't like that, but I've got to go to this cave. You stay here, okay? You ugly little rat. Oh god. You will not believe what happened to me. Seriously. Dear Campfire Clowns, While I have not forgotten about the ultimate goal to figure out a way to find you, I got distracted by daily business and death. Okay. But let me explain what I mean with this. <clears throat> Steely, that should help me a little bit. Huh? I tried to enter a mode of continuous improvement. Oh, wow. And was even able to surprise myself. Seriously, I'm impressed by my own shooting skills. <laughs> I'm getting better at this. Occasionally, at least. Damn. Still as bad a shooter as i always been. Besides my skill, I wanted to improve my preparation for the Pteranodon tame that I messed up so badly a couple of days ago. And it was of paramount importance for our progress to get a bird. If I want to find you, my friends, it will be much easier with wings. There he is. There he is, right? That's him. I'm gonna call you Morningstar. Because of... Here, there. That's the morning. And you're gonna be the star. Stay here. Yes, there you are. Oh, beautiful morning star. That was easier than I thought. How did I mess that up so badly before? Nah. Hey, don't step on my PT. Could you please hurry up a bit? We had a bird now. Yes. Great. Okay, I mean, you're right in the way, but you do you. Far more challenging was it to get the materials for a saddle. Light-hearted, but not yet as well equipped as I would like to be, I had to go into a cave. And the smartest decision of the day was to not bring my friend Steely with me. Ah. Since my aim hasn't improved sufficiently yet, are you kidding me? And I'm still not a good fighter, I had to pay the ultimate price. Again. Dying on this island is crazy. While we experience the excruciating pain of ceasing to exist for a moment, we reappear with our memories being transferred into a new body. Obviously, thanks to the implants in our arms. I have yet to figure out how this is all connected. And being eaten by an arthropo... Arthro... Arthroplu... Era... Well, one of those big centipedes or silverfishies wasn't the worst death. And we desperately needed their skin to craft a saddle for the bird. Ooh. And we have enough kite. Ooh. We just had to die for it. And although we humans basically are immortal here, our friends we tamed are not. When they die, there is no chance of getting them back, as far as I know. And I have to admit that it was a massive mistake to bring Steely, as you soon will see. I dared to try to tame a Tapahara I found by surprise. Although initially hesitant because of surrounding raptors and other death traps, I eventually couldn't resist the urge. Tapaharas usually are scared off easily. Real cowards, so to say. But somehow, I managed to bowler this one down to the ground and knock it out in time. But then, I got careless. And the island immediately punished me for my negligence. I was able to get some prime meat nearby, but was afraid that it wasn't enough. So I flew to another area to find more. And the butcher got built on the spot. Oh no. 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 All was not well. With me waking up in the base. Steely and Lucas Morningstar. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Surrounded oh no. by death. Oh no. Oh no. 
running as fast as possible, with my stamina draining faster than a gambler's bank account and stumbling, startling, still in shock from my own surprisingly swift passing, with one goal in my heart. I had to get back to them. No. The raptors, the Therizinosauruses around, even the micro-raptors that easily killed me were absolutely no joke. This time it was serious, and I really didn't want to lose this ugly little pelt rat. While running, I tried to keep calm, no. analyze my surroundings, tried to manage my energy, avoiding total exhaustion, and I tried to see them, I tried to find them. Predators I found, yes. <gasps> Is there not the raptors. Is there raptors. Starved to madness and on the hunt. No, and he saw me. I need to get back to Lucas. Fuck. Needed to get back in the air. Needed to survive for them. I could resurrect. Good. They would seize. Where is Steely? They would perish. I need to get Steely. Oh god. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is bring Steely home. Oh god, I was really scared. I was really scared for a second. So, now, need to get my stuff back? While this disaster was a devastating display of our vulnerability, there's a raptor. I have to admit that. Is there also a micro raptor? Yeah. No, it's just two raptors. Okay. We get lucky. Since I cannot be stronger like immediately, I have to be smarter at least. Yep. Oh, Gally, and he's running. Is that no? Again? <sighs> no. Crazy shit. <sighs> Let me try to phrase it like this. The tools are there. Ah, oh, let me argue. I just have to use them. Ooh. Since I am convinced that me being in a different world than you, my friends, is somehow related to the obelisks, that our resurrections are somehow related to the voices I hear when I wake up, I have to step up my game a bit. I need to make progress in order to find you, in order to figure out why we are here. But if I won't be careful, if I won't increase my capabilities, be more considerate, there will be consequences. Still, I have bad news for you. Mr. Verifiber died. Yep. Wanna know who killed him? This guy here. <laughs>